Today, we know that atoms are made of three types of particle. There are protons and neutrons that make up the nucleus, and the nucleus is surrounded by electrons. Now, this view of the atom wasn't always accepted by scientists. Scientists knew that atoms had a positively charged nucleus surrounded by electrons since around 1911, when the Rutherford model of the atom was proposed. But they were really attached to the idea of there only being two types of particle inside, the positive proton and the negative electron. It took a really long time for scientists to even recognize that the neutron existed. The story of our discovery of the neutron starts in 1919. Scientist Francis Aston is doing research on isotopes, which are atoms of an element that vary by their mass. He discovered that the isotopes he was working with all had masses that were whole number multiples of the mass of the hydrogen atom. This led scientists to suggest that the nuclei of all atoms were just bunches of hydrogen nuclei bound together, providing all the mass of the nucleus. So atoms of the element nitrogen, for example, have a mass of about 14 times the mass of the hydrogen atom. So they must be composed of 14 hydrogen nuclei, all bound together. Since each hydrogen nucleus has a charge of 1+, plus, that would mean that the nitrogen nucleus should have a charge of 14+. Plus. However, X-ray diffraction experiments had shown that the nucleus of an atom has a charge equal to its atomic number, or the position on the periodic table, which at the time was defined by the number of electrons an element had. So the nucleus of a nitrogen atom should have a charge of 7+, plus, not 14+. Plus. In order for the nucleus to have the right charge, scientists thought that there were negatively charged particles inside the nucleus, or internal electrons. So an atom of nitrogen would be made of 14 hydrogen nuclei, 7 internal electrons, plus the 7 electrons that surround the nucleus. We now know that this idea is pretty far from the truth. While the nucleus of an atom does contain two types of particle, atoms certainly don't have internal electrons. But scientists proposed this model for a reason. It matched all the experimental evidence of the time, the masses of atoms, the charge of the nucleus, and the charge of atoms as a whole. The presence of internal electrons also explained beta radiation, a kind of radioactive decay where an electron is emitted from the nucleus of atoms. Since this model featuring internal electrons was so successful at explaining experimental evidence, it became the mainstream model of the atom by 1920. However, there were some issues with this model. Electrons have certain properties. They behave a certain way in an electric field, for example. But scientists couldn't detect those properties in experiments on the nucleus. There were also general difficulties with trying to fit this model in with the newly emerging field of quantum mechanics. Neither of these issues proved electrons couldn't exist in the nucleus, but it was a puzzle. This led Rutherford to propose the existence of a neutral particle in the nucleus that was distinct from the hydrogen nucleus, but had the same mass. He called this hypothetical particle a neutron, and the hydrogen nucleus a proton. Rutherford and his colleague James Chadwick set to work trying to prove the existence of this proposed particle, but they had no success for over a decade. Then, in 1931, new experimental evidence emerged scientists discovered an unusual form of neutral radiation that was produced when beryllium was bombarded with alpha particles. They proposed this radiation could be gamma rays, since gamma rays are a form of neutral radiation. But Rutherford and Chadwick didn't believe this gamma ray hypothesis, so they decided to do the experiment themselves. In 1932, James Chadwick realized this neutral radiation wasn't gamma rays, it was a new particle with the same mass as the proton, the neutron that Rutherford proposed over a decade earlier. With this discovery, scientists realized that there are three types of particle that make up the atom, protons and neutrons that make up the nucleus, and electrons that surround the nucleus. But the story doesn't quite end there. Many scientists wanted to maintain the legacy of atoms being made up of protons and electrons only. Many thought that neutrons were a type of composite particle, made of a proton and an electron. Heisenberg, a key figure in the foundation of quantum mechanics, even spent years trying to prove this idea. But in 1935, the mass of the neutron was measured precisely, and that ruled out the possibility that the neutron was a composite particle. So after a long journey, the neutron finally gained the coveted status the proton and electron already shared, a particle that makes up atoms.